You gotta check this out. This amazing fossil flipper preserves soft tissue and some brand new structures that paleontologists think allowed this creature to swim in stealth mode. This paddle is from an ichthyosaur, a marine reptile whose streamlined body looked a little bit like a dolphin's. This particular individual swam the Jurassic Seas sometime between 183 and 181 million years ago. This one meter long fossil flipper belonged to a Temnodontosaurus. The largest Temnodontosaurus could have been more than 10 meters long when it was alive. But the size of this fossil is not what's impressive about it. The outline of the paddle's edge is clearly visible on the specimen and extends beyond the bones. When examined more closely, the fossilized skin had these cool linear structures that were even visible at a microscopic level. But coolest of all, paleontologists noticed these little cartilaginous structures all sticking out along the trailing edge of the paddle. These are completely new to science. And the team of researchers that described this flipper decided to give them the name chondroderms. But the biggest question is, why did this Temnodontosaurus have these structures in the first place? Paleontologists think that the linear structures and the chondroderms were adaptations to be able to swim silently. They suggested that these chondroderms would work similarly to the serrated edges of feathers in an owl's wing that allow it to fly so quietly. But why would a Temnodontosaurus need to swim quietly? Believe it or not, this species of ichthyosaur actually holds the record for the largest vertebrate eye ever discovered. And one of the reasons why its eyes were hypothesized to be so large were to allow it to capture more light in the dark watery depths where it lived. Being able to swim quietly could have helped the Temnodontosaurus sneak up on its prey in those low light conditions, making it the ultimate stealth predator. Incredibly, this super important fossil specimen was found while crews were doing road work. And paleontologists had a bit of a puzzle on their hands in order to fit all the broken pieces of rock back together to reconstruct the entire flipper. And it looks fan flippertastic.